hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back how y'all doing today i am doing good i just got off of work um a little bit tired but i'm not that tired i was actually expecting me to be extremely tired today because last night was my first night with the twins together um my baby came home yesterday and i did not it, i did not know how that night was gonna go like i didn't know if it was gonna sleep throughout the night if it, one was gonna wake up crying and wake up the other if they was gonna be on different schedules girl i do not know but it was actually not that bad they only woke up like two times like one woke up and then the other one woke up like 15 10 15 minutes later so it was kind of not bad i just woke up put one on the titty changed the diaper well changed the diaper because they don't like to um be um um they don't like to eat shitty so changed the diaper then i fed breastfed him and then the other one ended up waking up so I changed him, breastfed him, went straight back to sleep. I breastfeed, so technically I can kind of sleep in between them feeding. So um, it was actually not that bad. I was actually surprised. Um, they probably woke up around one time around two and then another time around five. And then I had to wake up anyway at six to work. So I think I ended up staying up. I probably got about 30 more minutes of sleep it actually was not as bad as I was expecting okay and now I just finished working and that wasn't really bad either I'm trying to get them on my schedule to where like I you know I take a break every two hours so I got them kind of on my schedule to where when I go on break I can feed y'all change y'all and put y'all back in bed and that actually kind of worked. It actually was not really a bad day. I do want to take a nap, but I got some editing to do and stuff. And I'm hungry as heck. I have not eaten all day. Y'all, breastfeeding take a lot of your energy. I did not remember that from being from the first time. But anyways, I came on here because I know y'all want to see my labor and delivery. Y'all want to know the story and all of that. So y'all probably seen from the last video, the last video I did was the hospital bag video. And y'all, I thought I was in labor. And because I was, I was hurting so bad, y'all. Like I had not slept at all that night. I was in a tub for like two, an hour or two. And it was just not good. I waited up um that day to see if it would you know get better and it didn't get better so i started timing my contractions to see how far apart they was and it was like six to seven minutes apart and i downloaded this app on my phone where it tracks the contractions and it after like so many there was like yeah it might be time for you to start packing your hospital bag and heading to the hospital so i did that and i think i, I told y'all that on the last video y'all go watch that video if you didn't but um y'all was in so much pain in that video i'm not gonna even lie um but yeah so i ended up going to the hospital and i didn't even record none of that i was in so much pain i couldn't i couldn't record um got to the hospital checked in and she checked my service and everything and she was like you're not um dilated or nothing like that so we might end up sending you home like, I'm not going home because I'm too much pain. I have not slept in the last 24 hours. I'm just not going home. So they ended up checking my vitals, checking my blood pressure, and all that good stuff. And I had preeclampsia, just like I did with my first one, boy. So they, after they determined that I had preeclampsia, they had checked to see if the babies were breached or not. Because y'all know in the previous video before that, I was telling y'all that um, 
I was trying to walk and stuff to get my babies down because I wanted to have them vaginally. And I walked that day. I walked that day. And I literally had the babies the next day. I think it was the next day that I had them. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was the next day. So, um... Yeah, they said I wasn't dilated or nothing like that. Um, they checked my blood pressure and stuff. They said that I had they said I had pregnancy. So they checked to see, they did an ultrasound to see if the babies had turned around. They had not turned around. So they had to call my doctor, my nurse, my OB, whatever. And I had to have an emergency C section. Mind you, I was supposed to be induced on Thursday the fifteenth. But I didn't make it. I ended up going in Sunday, February 11th. And they said I had to have an emergency C-section. And they wheeled me out of the first room that I was in into the labor and delivery room. And then, uh, what happened after that? They wheeled me into the labor delivery room. I had to, you know, I had to undress and all of that. And they came in and it was like, yeah, so we got to go ahead and give you anesthesia but or whatever. And they did that. The next thing I know, they was wheeling me back into the surgery room and cutting me open to have my babies. And um, I had them. Baby Shakai, which is the oldest, he was born um, four pounds, six ounces at 238. And his brother, Shaheem, was born 4 pounds, 14 ounces at 240. So, they was there only two minutes apart. So, Shakai, when he was born, he was underweight. Like, he was too small. So, he had to go to NICU and gain weight and all of that. Um, so, he was in a NICU for three weeks, which is why I'm just now saying something because I didn't want to, um, for one, I didn't want to um, show one of the boys without the other one because I didn't want to answer 50 million questions from 50 million people about why he's not at home, when he coming home, what he at, and all them questions. I didn't want to do it. So I was just like, I'm just going to spend time with my babies get my mind right because my mental was gonna be all fucked up if i would have said something um so to keep my peace and my sanity i just kept it to myself which i already knew before i had them that i was gonna tell y'all or i wasn't going to you know show the world until a few weeks after i had them because i just wanted to embrace them by myself so um yeah uh shaheem he went to the NICU for a few hours because his respiratory wasn't working properly or something but he came home like i mean he um got out of the NICU later on that night i think he wasn't breathing or something at first um y'all gonna see in this video um my mama got a few clips a few good clips um of the delivery and all of that so shout out to her for recording because i was definitely not recording i was out of it i was high on those drugs they had me on but um without further ado let's go ahead and get into these clips from the c-section okay Four. Let me go, Look right here, you can see him. Oh first one. Oh. What's our time? Thirty-eight, forty. No, 
Y'all, is it Dr. Walsh here? Yes. 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 You got to stay. We'll get a picture. Yeah, we'll talk to you. Um, <laughs> Almost made it, huh? Almost. Okay. What Can you get a picture? 1980. You got it? With the uh, weight in the back? Yes, ma'am. We weighed them twice. I wrote it down. It's common for the second baby to be a little stunned. Okay. That's why I always put baby B in the one that's more accessible. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it should be in one of the drawers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Because the other one gotta come. Like, excuse me. So he gotta come. So, four pounds, 14 ounces. You want a picture? What's your grams? 22, 26. But he's not looking that great. Yeah, wipe it. Yeah, wipe it for Yeah, wipe his mouth. Yeah, it's all grandma. Yeah, looks like we got one over there. He's pulling. <laughs> Picking up this, not being yeah. NICU, or they both have to be in NICU? They both have to go. We're going to try to transition him. You see his respiratory effort. He's pulling a little bit. He's not as active. So I just want to watch him. Okay. Just to make sure. Yes, sir. This one got, he has. Okay. He didn't make one. He's just too small. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm breathing fine. I'm He's just doing little. Yeah, yeah, it's like opposite. Yeah. Hey, I'm the big brother. <laughs> Good morning, team. This is day one of after birth. Mm -hmm. My face is so fat. <laughs> it was this part from Shamara. I think I was fatter with Shamara. I definitely feel it in my cheeks. We got Shaka Shaheen over here. And his brothers in the NICU. But hopefully he'll be out pretty soon. He's just there, um, gain weight and stuff. I wonder, like, do babies see us how we see each other? Mm. They probably see us as a big glob of like person. Like, are we black and white? Like, do, do right. Are we born with skin a different color, or like, do we are we black and white until like a certain age? Mm -hmm. Cause he looking at me like he like okay I know that you've been in my face all the time but they're like do you see me? They bought me some food. I'm about to show y'all what it looks like. Um, so yep, yeah, French toast, some sausage and eggs, and some cereal. And a baby. And a baby over there. Cereal and milk. Shut me. Do you know what you're doing? Oh, go see, baby. <laughs> That's my grandson. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. The last time I That's saw him, was like That's this. That's my son. You got to do it, do it. Fine. Oh, look how cute. Oh, look. <laughs> he told me he was going to cry. That's what he said. He mm -hmm. tried not to. You can look back down at the baby and look at you in the room. Oh, that's your brother. It's not Mr. Mario. Mr. Mario. Yeah. 
Shaheen. Shaheen. <laughs> you looking at me like <laughs> You are such a cute baby. Yeah. Oh. So sweet. <laughs> he gonna be a big brother. He gonna be a good big brother. He is. He is. He been calling it. Oh, I don't know either. <laughs> Don't know I'm five already. Yeah, everybody knows you're five already. You're a big boy. And look, everybody's saying, you can play ball on your birthday? Birthday? Yeah. Mm. He's alright. One and two or three? <laughs> yeah. Like Emma used to be four or three. Okay. Then they can be a good big brother. Then they're going to play, then you can play football and show up there. And show them stuff, huh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to show them? Probably anything. Okay. So you have to. That means you, you're going to share your toys with them. Sure. Oh, <laughs> good job. Because sharing is what. Caring. All right. Oh. <laughs> good job. All he needs is a job. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They are wide open. Look at your furniture. Now he's talking. He got his eyes wide open from you. Oh, he's looking at his big brother. He sees his big brother. Say hello. 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 He said, I, bet, I guess I better because y'all ain't going to let me sleep anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All this talk going on. I can't sleep right now. All this uh -oh. excitement. Uh -oh. See, in a minute, I'm going to be hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, little man. Uh -huh. Hey, little man. You tired? Did you try to do those? It looks like you need something to drink. You might be mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what that means. 